Good morning, so glad you could join us. Do you believe in divine appointments? What, what do I mean by that? It just simply means that you're gonna bump into people that you can't explain how it worked. So uh, somebody invited me to the Who concert this past week and it was really cool. Got to go see the Who. I'd never seen the Who before and they were spectacular. And I'm walking along the concourse and here's this guy walking by, it's like, Dave, it's this guy that I know that lives about 30 miles from me. And it's just really cool to bump into him. But it happens all the time, like on flights. Uh, I was at a banquet recently. People sit down next to me, have no idea who they are. Oh, where did you guys meet? Oh, Mount Prospect. I'm like, well, that's the town I grew up in. Oh, where do you go to church? That's the church that I used to go to. Just amazing. I get up, I want to check some sports scores. So there's a restaurant that's right next to it. And they got a bar, they got TVs. I go in there, the bartender says, Paul. It's just like, I didn't know you worked here. Had a nice chat with the bartender. How do these things happen? How do, how do the, God's good at this. So it says in Luke chapter 18, verse 7, God will always give what is right to his people who cry to him night and day, and he will not be slow to answer them. Sometimes divine appointments come when they don't look divine. What do I mean by that? Well, Paul and Silas, Paul got this, they, they were trying to go one way, and they felt like the Holy Spirit was stopping them on their mission trip, and then Paul gets this call to go to Macedonia. So they go to Macedonia. He's in Philippi, and they're preaching there, and they get thrown in prison. Now, if I'm Silas, I would have been asking Paul, hey, we're in prison. You obviously didn't hear from God. We are way outside of God's will. You, you, I'm not trusting you anymore. No, it, it says that, that they got thrown in prison. They even got put in stocks. So they're like, they're like strapped down in there. And it says that at midnight, at midnight they start singing. What? I mean, they're singing songs. And it says... All of the other prisoners listened. Well, first of all, they had no choice. Secondly, they had to be intrigued. And then what happens, according to Acts chapter 16, verse 26, at once all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. So we can spiritualize this and say that when everything goes wrong and it doesn't seem like a divine appointment, go ahead and worship and praise God and it can change your circumstances. It can change how you look at your circumstances. Those things are all true. But there's also something really practical here. Because they got thrown in prison, but something else cool happened there. So the doors pop open. The jailer realizes this. He assumes all the prisoners have escaped. And he takes out his sword and he's ready to kill himself. Because they're going to kill him the next day anyway. If all the prisoners get away. But then Paul points out, hey, nobody's run away. And we're just chatting with you here. And maybe he would heard them singing. Maybe he knew that they were missionaries. But he asks them, what must I do to be saved? Hey, how do I get to heaven? Well, they've got a captive audience. The guy was ready to enter eternity anyway. He's got the sword up. So Paul tells him to believe in Jesus Christ, to put his faith in him. So he does. And that night, he and his whole family are baptized. Okay? I think he served him a meal too. But he also, the, the, the jailer washed the wounds. And you know what? Jesus washed the jailer's wounds away. And so God shut the door on Paul and Silas, put them in a jail, and they didn't complain, they didn't moan or anything, and that night, the jailer's life was changed forever. His family's life was changed forever. What's the negative circumstance in your life? You're like, what am I doing here? Why in the world am I here? Instead of that, try, well, try singing a song of praise to God. Maybe you won't actually do that, but thank God for the situation you're in, and may He open the eyes of your heart and your real eyes to see that maybe there's someone like the jailer who's right nearby and that he's locking you up in something you don't want so you can help open up somebody else's heart for God. I want to give a shout out to Max. God bless you. Have a great day.